Right now on WIS News 10 Sunday morning, church services resume at the historic Emanuel AME Church in downtown Charleston following Wednesday's tragic shooting that claimed nine innocent lives. On this first Sunday following a church shooting that left nine people dead in Charleston, churches across our state and country are paying respects. Good morning and thanks for joining us. I'm Ali Spilliards. People across the nation continue to remember those nine people killed in Charleston's Emanuel AME Church last Wednesday. From a state senator to the branch manager of a library to a high school track coach and a barber, they all had one thing in common their love and desire to worship. Right now, Emmanuel AME is holding its first church service since nine of its own were gunned down Wednesday night following Bible study at the historic church. Mother Emmanuel has been a rallying point for families and all who have been affected by this shooting. And our Mike DeSuma has been following this story for us since it all began. He joins us now from the church with more. Mike, how is it out there this morning? Well, good morning, Allie, and it is certainly uh, quite an incredible sight here here in this in downtown Charleston, out here on Calhoun Street. We have been uh, watching the situation unfold here all morning as service uh, is getting underway, got underway about 9.30 inside the church. But clearly, uh, you don't have to be inside uh, Mother Emmanuel this morning to hear the incredible sound that is coming from many people uh, out here. As you can see behind me, Calhoun Street completely packed with people right now, all wanting to be a moment, uh, be part of this moment as the church finally reopened its doors following that very, very tragic shooting early Wednesday night. Uh, it was about 8 a.m. this morning when the doors to the church finally were open, and for the first time, worshipers were able to go back inside. There were people watching from the street as people made their way inside, uh, making their way past that memorial, which has been building and building over the course of the week with flowers and candles. Uh, many people we spoke to and have spoken to outside of the church uh, are from the area originally. They traveled here uh, just to be present for this moment, and they just said this is just simply something they had to witness. covered publicly. I just day. felt like I, I had to be here. You know, I, I used to live in this community. I'm a part of the African American community. And this was definitely a, a, a strike against the African American community. So I just had to be here. Now, of course, uh, the celebration continues out here on Calhoun Street and will continue uh, for the time being ahead this morning. One thing, of course, many people had to take precautions on is having security here today. There are, of course, uh, many police on hand, as you saw in the video just there, police at the door checking people as they were making their way into Mother Emanuel Church. But, Allie, the big news for the first time since this horrible shooting, there is the sound of music coming from inside that building. And out here on the street, it is just incredible to listen to. We'll send things back to you. All right, Mike, very good to hear this morning. And we do know surviving witnesses of the Charleston church shooting told authorities the act was driven by racist hatred. NBC News has learned that the FBI is now investigating and analyzing a website where a 2,000 word manifesto was written and posted by the alleged shooter Dylan Roof. Mark Potter has more. And our coverage of healing in Charleston continues, so be sure to tune in later this morning at 11 for a rebroadcast of a special edition of Awareness. WIS's Megan Norman and Charles Molyneux discuss with community leaders the race relations here in South Carolina in light of the recent tragedy in Charleston. And this morning, we're also streaming the first church service at Emmanuel AME. Visit WISTV.com to listen in on that service. And there's a live look for you as we head to break.